Hi there, welcome to this physics tutorial. We're gonna solve a problem shown here about free fall. Now remember, free fall is when an object is falling on a planet only due to the acceleration from gravity. Now, remember to pause or rewind whenever you need to in order to solve and get through this problem. So I'm gonna start by listing out everything that I know. So for free fall, we know that our vertical displacement or our delta y will be negative because the object is falling downward. We also know that it takes four and a half seconds for that ball to reach the surface. And then it tells me to calculate the acceleration due to gravity, which we call g. And then we're going to compare what we get experimentally for g. We're gonna compare it to our table over here on the right to see which of these values for g it actually corresponds with. And then we'll go ahead and we'll use our percent error formula to find how close we, act, we actually are. So let's start out by calculating g. Well, with this, we can use one of our kinematic equations. And the one that's the best to choose is delta y equals the initial velocity times delta t minus 1 half g times delta t squared. Now you might be wondering, we don't know what our vertical initial velocity is. Well, if it's starting at rest, which it is when you drop it, it's zero. So this whole term will zero out. So then we can start plugging in our values. Our negative 12 meters is our delta y. We know that g is what we're trying to find. And then our time is 4.5 seconds squared. Now don't forget to square this guy. And then when we solve this, we end up getting g is 11.06 meters per second squared. And from there, we can then come over and compare this. Now the value that it lines up most closely to is this 10.82. So that's for Neptune. So with that, I'm gonna write down that this is Neptune, but it's now asking me to find the percent error. Now the percent error equation, you can either Google this or it's given to you in your notes. It's the true value, sometimes we call that the theoretical value, minus the experimental value, which is what we just found, and that's usually what we calculate or measure given our values, divided then by the true value or the theoretical value. And then we put it in absolute value signs, meaning whatever we get, positive or negative, we simply make it positive. So then when I plug this in, my percent error, I end up having the true value of 10.82 meters per second squared, minus our experimental, which is what we just calculated, and then I divide that by the true value again, the 10.82 meters per second squared. And then when I take the absolute value of that and I multiply this out, I get an error of 0 0.022, or in percentage form, that's 2.2%. So pretty close, which means that we were pretty accurate in our problem. So if we actually were on the planet of Neptune and we stood on top of a 112 meter building and we dropped that steel ball, it would take 4.5 seconds to reach the planet. And we would have a pretty good estimate in, with an accuracy of about a little over 2% of the gravity or the acceleration due to gravity on the planet of Neptune. So go ahead and find some similar problems to this so you can practice these skills. Good luck. 